Hi, it's Mix Wilson. Today we're going to go over um, moving around and modeling in Blender. The basics. To look around, hold down the middle wheel of your mouse. We'll go over how to do this without a mouse at the end. You can also tap or click on this icon in the top right, hold down the button, and drag to move around. You can also click on the X, Y's, or Z's to change your view to a specific view. To zoom in using a mouse, roll up on your scroll wheel or roll down on the scroll wheel. All right, you'll notice that here my menu shows the words of what it is. When you start Blender, it'll have an I the icon display that looks like this. Since we're new to Blender, let's click put our mouse on the side here and drag so we can see those words. Let me show you how to switch into edit mode. Edit mode is how we're going to edit individual objects. You can do that by clicking up here where it says object mode, click and select edit. You'll notice a lot more options appear here. Shortcut for this is to click tab to switch between object and edit mode. All right, let's move objects around. So to select everything, press A. These are great options of how to edit your objects or move them around. You can simply click move and then drag the arrows to move objects along a certain axis. Axis. If you press scale, you'll have the option to make an object bigger and or smaller both in general as well as in a certain direction. And if you press rotate, depending on which one of these circles you click on, you can rotate your object that way. Let's learn the shortcuts for these to save us some time. All right, I can, if I select everything with A, I can use the button G for grab. You'll notice now I can move this object freely. Similarly, I can press S for scale to make it bigger or smaller. And I can press R for rotate. Just let's say you want to do these options along a specific axis. No problem. We can press G for grab. And instead of moving freely, let's say we want it to just move along this green Y axis. All we have to do is type Y on our keyboard. And now our movement is locked to this axis. And the same thing happens if we press Z or X. This principle works the same for scaling as well. If I press S for scale, and then specify that I want to scale along the Y axis, it'll only get larger or smaller along that axis. All right, let's talk about how to select vertices, edges, and faces. The menu for that is up here, and you can see they've got helpful little pictures. The dot is for the vertex, vertices, which are these dots. The line is for the edges, the lines, and this square is for the faces. So you can click these. The shortcuts for these are one for vertices, two for edges, and three for faces. Beautiful. Okay, to, hold, to select more than one, let's say we wanna select more than one vertex. We are going to hold down shift while we click. You can notice that we can unselect vertices this way or select them. You can also select things in a range by left clicking and dragging. Or if you wanna have a curved range selection, you can hold down control and right click to give you something resembling a lasso to select those. Notice that if you select vertices like this, you will not be selecting all the vertices if it's not visible, like this one here, it's not selected. Let's say you want to select 
even the, the vertices you can't see. What we got to do for that is to put this object in wireframe mode. To go to wireframe mode, press Z. That's going to bring up an option of how you want to view your shape. And then select wireframe. These options can also be decided on up here. So if you want to do solid, there it is. Wireframe, there it is. You'll notice in wireframe, if I click and drag, I could go like this. I have even selected vertices that are in the back of the shape. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to look around without a mouse. If you're just using a touchpad, a great way to do that is to click up here, hold down and move around as I showed you earlier. To zoom in, you've got a handy button here that you can press and drag. Once you press on it, you can move your mouse up or down. I should say, move your finger up or down to zoom in or out. That'll probably be the basics of what you need. However, Blender has more tools if you'd like. You can set up Blender to work to emulate a three button mouse. Here's how you're going to do that. You're going to click Edit in Blender then click Preferences, and then look for where it says Input. Edit, Preferences, Input. Then you're going to see this checkbox here that says Emulate Three Button Mouse. After you do that, you'll be able to hold down the Alt key, and then you can just simply left click to look around. You can also use Shift, Alt, and Touch to pan. So again, you Alt, and then just click with and touch to look around. And you're going to do that by doing emulate three button mouse. Also, there's some functionality with two finger touch. So on a touchpad, play around with swiping up and down with two fingers, um, the pinching motion and other things and see how that works. But I do highly recommend going to edit preferences input and then clicking emulate three button mouse. All right, thanks for watching. This is Blender Basics with LP Wilson, and stay tuned for more beginner Blender tutorials. Until next time.